Uh, by the way, fellas, uh, Master and Crazy Steady have said in the chat that uh, although people think that Tengu is actually heavyweight, she's actually middleweight. Oh, she's middleweight. Yeah. Really? People, okay. But that that's a common misconception of Neo Tengu that she's a heavyweight. Okay. Hmm. All right, that's good that we've been corrected. You'd think she'd be heavier, though. I mean, Rachel's half demon. Yeah. But logic. I mean, Helena's what? How heavy is she? Well, Helena's a lightweight, so. No, Helena's not. Hel Helena's up there. Oh, Helena's in is she's, a midweight character. No, she's she's like she has her own group above the midweights. All right. So here we go. Ooh. Button check. No, oh. Get ready, fight. They're like the boxing equivalent of stare down before a match. <laughs> <laughs> if I was one of those people in the gym, I'd be like, okay, what's going on with the fact that we got a cat girl and a and a girl with wings uh, fighting in the middle of a ring? Now that's a gym I'd like to join. <laughs> and Jaeger is definitely going with uh, Rig, so you can definitely tell that uh, a lot of faith. It is a lot of faith, but it's also a good choice because I mean. For, for one thing, Rig just has way too many options and mix-ups that uh, can definitely uh, catch Neo Tengu. I mean, she she's not the fastest character in the game, so you can definitely interrupt a lot of her uh Would you say he attacks. has more options than Phase 4? Def uh, no, definitely not as many options. Well. I mean, he has a strong mix-up game, but uh, I think... Uh, I think Phase 4 just uh, edges it out with the fact that she's just a lot faster and can actually do more uh, with that. Yeah, nice start for Rig. Yeah, he, he already did half damage. That's just crazy. Yeah, no hold from him. Well, he needs to be way more aggressive and not allow uh, knock Tengu to build any kind of momentum. He's just doing Time that right there. Got him right in the corner. corner. See if he can get out. I mean, her, one of her fastest attacks is a uh, is a 12 frame mid or 12 frame high. I'm sorry. Yeah, right there, which we just saw. Won't hold for nothing. So uh, Nock is just stepping up on the uh, defensive end right there, blocking everything and just countering what or uh, punishing what he can. What an excellent comeback! Wow, by that Tengu is an excellent from comeback. the brink of death to win from the corner to the other side of the stage. Oh my God. From the bottom to the top. So now Jaeger is definitely trying to do more of a mix-up game right here with his uh, kick stance. Against the wall once again, down to half-life. Let's see what uh, Noctengu can do. And they're just both staring at each other. Oh, this is, you know, if you can capitalize on this, he can get quite a lot of damage. Wow, not okay. Not you know what? I'm a has believer. such amazing, amazing composure. He is doing some good reads right here. I mean, he's just giving a, a he's, he's bending but not breaking. He's definitely seeing what Jaeger's throwing at him, and he's just trying to work around it. But now it looks like Jaeger's definitely coming oh. at it with the offensive. Uh, and like, Whoa, that's he, a lot of pent-up frustration there. See right there, that last round there that Jaeger go. took. That just shows how quickly a, a match matchup can change uh, in an instant. Second. Woo! Not Tengu is just doing a great yeah, job. Yeah. I mean, he knows what his limits are and what his fastest moves are. He definitely and knows And he's definitely Tengu. just waiting for opportunities to uh, throw them in when he can. Right there, Jaeger just, just ties like it nothing, up. nothing, all tied up. Yeah, it looks like Jaeger's got he his read the on the throw, Tengu. Which is, uh, awesome. <laughs> Flip kicks him out of the uh, the jump, the running kick. Being scared, though. Some uh, spacing going on right here. Just gets in his face. Starts the mix-up combos. Yeah, I think Ooh. he got it. Oh, he could have gone for a throw there, but uh, he still manages to finish out the match anyway. Amazing match. He took, he took the first set right there. Three straight. That's a big difference between three mat three to win or just two. I think it could be it could be just a theory, but I think uh, Diego was just probably giving him a couple uh, um, a round at least just to feel out the Tengu because I mean you don't see many Tengus in a top eight, so you obviously have to see what their strengths are. Now we have a much more wide open area. 
This could play to both characters' strengths, of course. Uh, I don't think he really wanted to do that, unfortunately, but he did get uh, Tengu into the corner again. And he's in like determined to keep her in the, the corner. Of this match. Here, Tengu trying and trying. Can't get he's him doing to a go. great job of mixing it up between throws and uh, kicks. He knocked Tengu starting to panic a little bit. Uh, can I take a couple seconds to mention how awesome that costume design is for Rig? I love the fact that he's just running on with a scythe on his back. He's a Reaper. Neo Tink or uh, Knock Tengu is doing his best right here to mount some kind of offense. Oh. I mean, it's it's hard to when you got uh, Jaeger coming up uh, with really strong offensive moves that just interrupt almost everything you're doing. Oh, well, you get take and make the most advantage or whatever you can yeah. get. Oh, he didn't do a foot stomp to end the match, which would have helped him out. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, oh, nice the low jab. When in doubt, poke him out. There we go, goes for the reverse. Nice tech. Damage, the damage, it's beautiful. What an excellent opening. So, spacing. Oh, he read that. Amazing that was read. a brilliant read. Going for the air juggle. Oh, he's getting quite a lot of damage. Oh, he, oh, and he drops, drops it, it, unfortunately. What? No problem, though. Yeah. He's just maintaining his pressure. He's pushing her against the wall again. Yeah, so you have to do it against the slow character. But she does have... He, he, man, oh, Tengu is, is doing it? a great That's job. It. Not an easy character to uh, pull wins with. No, she, she is definitely a difficult character to use. And he, Nock Tengu is making it look easy, unfortunately. I mean, he's got a very good... Uh, He's got a lot of patience right here. He's just looking for openings when he can. Well, that's what a slow character player always has to do. There's no one to strike. Oh, nice. So he decides to go for the uh, the, sh the tackle right there. Messing with his heads by doing some flips and the, uh, the wind attack. He's a back on. He's just countering just him. him. He, he's, in his, he's in his head now. He takes oh he takes it and ties it one one. What an amazing match. Uh, look at that, uh Noctengu. he's got a little smile on his I face. Tengu is standing he, he's feeling it right now. He's pretty confident, I like that. Now we're on the okay, we're on the ice stage. Oh. So if the water changes anything. Yep. Lots of deep stuns for everyone. Seems like Tango's got her counter game back on. He doesn't go for the burst, but he goes for the throw instead. Nice mix-up. Very good. Doesn't take him over the edge, but he does uh, manage to keep them on the same playing field. Jaeger is def is coming back, mounting another offense. Catches him with the burst. Oh, and he can finish it out right here. There we go. Now someone gets flown over the edge. We got an army of penguins watching in the background. Another person's going over the edge. Everybody's in the air. Everybody's falling off the edge. Just the uh, the mindset of these two right now. They're they're both being uh, as aggressive as possible. But still being Nock very Tengu, cautious. Well, Nock Tengu has to definitely be more cautious because, you know, again, he has moves that aren't as fast and uh, are easily Taking interruptible. Taking that guard break. Always a good bet to Absolutely. hold the Oh! The foot stomp coming out. Jaeger's pressure is pretty good, but uh, he actually gets caught and he oh, misses. Oh, he drops the air. He okay. drops the air throw. Ooh. I am just so captivated with this match right here. It's oh, wow. Oh, wow. I thought that really All right, so we got match point for Jaeger right here. In quite possibly one of the most intense matches of the uh, tournament so far. Nice, Takato. So both of them are spacing each other, trying to feel each other. Comes in with okay, the uh, neutral throw, low jabs. Hard break for him. Excellent combo right there. 
they're dangerous to the edge, so Jaeger might actually try and take advantage of that if he could. Yeah, he's gonna send... There we go. It's just a matter of time. So now Noctengu is uh, in danger of being eliminated now. Well, give the caution. He's gonna run in for oh. the grab, but no dice. Oh, man. And there we go, Jaeger takes it. Yeah, tracking. An excellent match. So, coming into Winter Brawl, would you ever expect to see a Tingu in the top eight? Never, no. No. I think the last time I saw a Tingu in the top eight was uh, Ninja CW, and that was, I think, maybe a year back when uh, Neo Tingu debuted, actually, with Ultimate. Yeah. Everybody likes to bring out the new characters whenever there's a tournament, and they yep. just got launched. So that, that, was, that was an excellent over. match. Now we got Sonic Fox going up against Lord Xavier. So, um, you think Sonic Fox is going to stick with Marie Rose against uh, Xavier Satomi? Yes, definitely. If I had to put money on it. So you got two characters with a strong uh, <laughs> mix-up game. So we got Lord Xavier, uh, Coach uh, Black Moon Rising, once again uh, joining him on stage. Here, use the coach. Hmm? Have you ever used the coach? 